Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. Also turn on post notifications. I would like to give a special thanks to Lorenzo Ford here in Homestead, Florida for giving me time with the 2022 Ford Expedition Max Platinum here. This one also has four by two. If you guys are in the market for a Ford, be sure to check out Lorenzo Ford and Extra Gene. He will get you into a new or pre-owned vehicle. But let's talk about pricing here for the Expedition Max Platinum. Starting price is $81,560, including destination. Also with the options, this one's tickets for $83,360. This is basically a navigator on a budget. Let's talk about the exterior styling here for the Expedition Max here. Like I mentioned, this is the Platinum model. So this is the fully loaded uh, model here in the Expedition uh, lineup here. This is also the long wheelbase version here because it, because it is the Max. So that does offer more cargo space if you guys are looking for a larger vehicle in the uh, Expedition family. But me personally, I would go for the Max because I just like longer vehicles and I like that it does offer a lot of cargo space. For 2022, Ford has updated the Expedition. They give it uh, nice tech in the interior. They changed up the front styling here a little bit. So it does look different compared to last year's model. But let's talk about these headlights here. They're gonna be standard on all models of the Expedition, which are a multi-reflector uh, light here with an automatic low and high beam, LED turn signal. The daytime running light is shaped like a C, which is really nice. There's also LED fault lights here with this chrome uh, portion there. And this area right here looks to be functional to put an air curtain over the brakes and wheels. I love the gray painted trim here. There's front parking sensors. There's the large Ford logo front and center. I love the nice grill here. It looks really nice. I like the nice uh, design here that Ford throws on the actual Platinum model. But let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the Expedition Platinum here. It looks really nice with this black exterior paint with the aluminum trim throughout this vehicle. But looking at the side profile, this has a wheel base of 131.6 inches with an overall length of 221.9. And this also has 9.8 inches of ground clearance. So it does offer a good amount of ground clearance. And like I mentioned, this is the max model. So it does offer a foot more in the overall length for this vehicle. Looking at these tires and wheels here, I like the nice multi-spoke finish here with the aluminum finish. These are a 285-45 tire. They're wrapped in this 22 inch run design just like every other competitor in this segment this says the platinum badge down here at the lower part of the door we also have these deplorable running steps so right now the door is uh, closed so the running the running boards are tucked underneath the vehicle there's also this satin finish here to the actual mirror cap which has this led side marker here more of that aluminum trim is throughout the side profile and the door handles around the window trim even on the roof rails my model also has this large panoramic sunroof here to let light and air into the cabin once you open up that sunroof. But making our way to the rear of the vehicle here, looking at the taillights, they're gonna be a full LED, which is a turn signal, brake light, and reverse light here. It says platinum here at, on the tailgate. It says Expedition spelled out very boldly here, and it says max to so let everyone know that you have the long wheelbase version. There's also rear parking sensors here. You can also tow with this vehicle once you remove this plastic portion here. And it does say Ford here on the, the back of the tailgate with this rear wiper here and the third brake light lives right there to open up the separate glass here just press this button right here and grab the little portion there so for example i have my book bag here which is my camera stuff instead of me open up the tailgate guys i could just you know drop that in there and close that back so i can have easy access to the actual cargo area but if you guys need to open up the tailgate just press that button there it does offer a power operating feature with the seats folded up ford says this has 36 cubic feet of space so it does offer a good amount of space in this segment there's also this divider piece here to you know put some wet clothes if you guys went on a lake uh, trip and whatnot and it's also divided there as well and there's also the controls here to let down the rear seats here by pressing both of these as you guys can see, it is power operated. I think Ford was the first one in the segment to offer, to offer power folding seats here. Once you fold down all the seats, that expands the cargo to 121.4 cubic feet of space. So this is why you guys go for the Max because it just offers so much more cargo space compared to the short wheelbase version. Looking at this interior here of the Ford Expedition Max here, platinum model i love this nice interior here with a nice stitching the seats in here they're very supportive and comfortable above me there's this large panoramic sunroof here it says platinum in the actual seat backs here nice stitching very supportive seats and as you guys can see here i love this nice onyx uh, leather interior this is a 15 inch display this is the same infotainment system that's out of the ford mustang mach e which is their electric vehicle it's also this 12.3 inch gauge cluster in front of me that that you can customize and this one also has blue cruise so it will basically be a hands-free driving system on mapped highway so that is nice technology that Ford gives you which is probably which is probably best in class in this segment we're reaching over here to shut the door at the Expedition Max here 
the door sounds very solid. To slide up the vehicle here, just put your foot on the brake and press the start stop button right here. And as you guys can see, everything will come to life. Very large displays in this vehicle here. But let's talk about the materials here on the door panel. Really nice leather material, nice stitching. This diamond is quilted stitching here on the actual door panel. Also love the F-150 style door handles here. It is auto up and down for all four windows. My apologies for the, for the loud fan speed here. There's also your mirror controls here. There is three person memory seats. So if your spouse drives this vehicle or your children drive this vehicle, they can set up their own presets there for the actual uh, memory seats. Over here, you can let down the headrest, your trunk release, your lighting control. This also has zone uh, lighting here. So if you guys are in a dark area, you can press this button here on the side and it will light up uh, kind of like a stadium style that you guys can you know look around the vehicle if you're in a non-lit area. There's your headlight controls here, electronic parking brake. You also have adjustable pedals. Some other competitors don't even give you this anymore, but it is nice that Ford still offers that adjustable pedal there. And I love the stern wheel here. It has a Ford logo here, which is kind of like a uh, gray finished in the background, which is really nice. Nice detail there. Over here is for your controls. The instrument panel here, like I mentioned, you can customize this to show different things uh, like your trip computer, your fuel economy so you can customize it to your liking over here is for your driver's assistance tech like i mentioned it does have the blue crew so you can set that on a mapped highway over here is for your wind wiper automatic high beam switch and turn signal stock like i mentioned the headlight controls are going to be down here i like the nice three spoke wheel design here with that nice stitching which is which is carried throughout this vehicle the materials on the dashboard are going to be a nice soft touch material even around the blue crew sensor it is nice leather stitch there Looking here at this large infotainment system here, it doesn't take up the complete screen as uh, Apple CarPlay, um, but it is nice that Ford does give you these very large icons here. Going here to uh, the Google Maps, it does show you a large bright uh, display there. You can also go here to vehicle and whatnot to show you your camera views. That's a front view, that's a top down 360 view around the vehicle as well. You can also, you know, look around different angles and whatnot. Yes, your parking sensors. So you can customize the, you know, the light, the displays or the camera uh, to your uh, liking. Like I mentioned, there's the zone lighting. So it will kind of, you know, have like this stadium style uh, lighting there. You just have to, you know, press the button there. You can just press power. And now as you guys can see, sadly, well, you can't see it now, but you guys can, you know, look, you know, put the headlights on, put the side mirrors on. So you can, you know, light this truck up. If you're in a non-lit area, you can, this, this can also park itself as well. It has park aid as a valet mode. You guys can put in your four-digit pin and whatnot. Going back to the camera system, it does offer good resolution. And there's your settings here, so you can, you know, look at the vehicle setting and whatnot. Your exit and entry assist, so you can got you guys can turn off the actual running boards if you would like. Um, there's also your rear occupant uh, controls there. Also, there's vehicle power down timer. So if you guys you know, want to have the vehicle cut off in like an hour, 30 minutes or so, I'm pretty sure that you guys uh, can do that there. Also, you can you know, set seat adjustments. And you can also mess with this knob here to uh, mess with the volume and whatnot. You can also turn this off and on if you guys would like. So it is nice that you can you know, mess with this infotainment system. It's very responsive, very snappy. It does offer three level heated and cool seats. There's a heated steering wheel function there. You can also adjust the temperature. So for it, basically eliminate some of the buttons here. You also have automatic start stop, your hazard button, traction control, your max uh, defrost is there. Your trailer brake control here is off to the side. It's beeping because it, it, de it detects that there's no actual trailer. There's your boost gauge, your fuel gauge, your coolant temperature, and your oil, your oil gauge is uh, right there. It's going to be nicely padded here. Additional storage is down there. Putting the vehicle into reverse, this does house a 10-speed automatic transmission. Like I talked about with the parking uh, view there and whatnot, a very, really good uh, camera quality. Switch it over to neutral and to go into drive. And to go into manual mode, you press this, but there's no paddle shifters. You have to use the plus and minus here in the actual center console. Putting the vehicle back into park, really nice uh, shifter knob here. There's a wireless phone charger for my iPhone 14 Pro Max. It does charge my phone really quick. There's two USB ports in there, a good amount of storage. If you guys wanna you know, have a cleaner look here, you can close this off. Oh, also thank you, Gene, for the coffee. I truly needed it this morning because I was super tired. Um, there's a little bit of storage here. You guys where I put some change. Like I mentioned, this vehicle can park itself via this button here or through the infotainment system. There's your parking sensor button here. And the center console does look very clean here. It's nice that they give you this rotary uh, knob here. The center armrest here does have really nice stitching and uh, nice contrast there. Very deep center armrest here. You can remove this tray. Probably one of the largest deep consoles in the storage. There's also a 12 volt in there as well. Like I mentioned, seats are supportive and comfortable. There is two tier storage in here. You press this button here, open up the glove compartment. You also have 
a lot of storage if you guys truly need it and whatnot. And four, it does give you this rubber uh, mat in here. So if you guys put things in there, it won't slide around if you guys are driving uh, aggressively. Like I mentioned, materials on the dash are really nice, really nice touch materials. And there's a 12 volt right here for the passenger to basically keep connected. And there's your pro trailer control here. So if you guys have a trailer and you, you know, hook it up, it will, you know, turn left or right if you guys are not the best uh, backup driver when it comes to uh, operating the trailer. And the lighting in the cabin is going to be a full LED throughout the whole entire cabin. And this is the controls here for the panoramic sunroof here. Plus this right here is for a sunglass holder. But overall, the interior of the Expedition Max does not disappoint. Getting into the second and third row here, the Expedition Max, open up the rear door here. It does offer this large opening here so you can access the second and third row. So you can put your passengers back here or even your children. As you guys can see here, the running boards are already popped from underneath the vehicle. There's also this large grab handle here so you guys can access the second uh, row here if you guys are trying to get into this large SUV. But let's talk about the materials here on the door panel. Really nice material is carried over from the front. Nice stitching here. This is very unique uh, F-150 door handle here, which I like a lot. A uh, cup holder here. The switch gear feels high quality. There's also this diamond quilted stitching here on the actual door panel. This area is going to be nice and padded here to rest your elbows. Additional storage space here and down here as well with another uh, cup holder right there. The seats in here, they're very supportive and comfortable. But getting back here, like I mentioned, this grab handle and also with these power running boards. Let me shut the door real quick. The door sounds very solid. And as you guys can see here, I'm only five foot eight and this is where I have the seat to drive. Ford says this has 41.5 inches of rear legroom space. So very class competitive in this segment. You can also slide the seats forward and back via this handle underneath the seat. And there's also this recline function here on the side. There is two map pockets back here for uh, storage. You also get more cup holders here. There's a small little helper screen here so you can, you know, change the value, media, clock, and you can also change the, the station from the front if you guys don't like what the driver is playing. That's a household outlet right here. Once I open up this flap here, and you also have tri-zone climate control, also your fan speed, and there's also two USB ports right here. You do get additional storage down there also with a 12 volt. Above me, there's this large panoramic sunroof here to let light and air into the cabin. Like I mentioned, seats are very supportive and comfortable. I like the nice stitching here, very large armrest, very padded as well. But let's get into the third row real quick and talk about the third row uh, legroom specs here. To get into the third row Ford makes it very simple. simple. Just grab this handle here. The seat will lift up, just push it out of its way. And as, you guys, and as you guys can see here, it does offer tons of space to get into the third row here. But getting back here, I'm gonna shut the door behind me. And I'm gonna sit behind this seat right here. As you guys can see here, I can actually cross my legs and basically be comfortable on a long road trip. As you can see, it does offer tons of space back here in the third row because this does have an independent rear suspension. And Ford says this has 36.1 inches of rear legroom space. So it does offer class competitive uh, specs here in this segment. And this also has a recline function here so I can get comfortable on a long road trip. Also with this large glass here, so I won't be claustrophobic. There's a cup holder here, USB charging port and tons of storage here. You also get this uh, features on the other side as well, recline, cup holders, USB charging port, and some storage there. And above is gonna be LED lights throughout the cabin. And there's the air vents up top. And the passenger also gets a grab handle in air vents and LED lights as well. But overall, the second and third row of the Expedition does not disappoint, especially in this segment. Let's talk about the powertrain specs here for the Ford Expedition Max here. This is Ford's 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6. This powertrain makes 380 horsepower, 470 pound feet of torque. It is paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission. Keep in mind, my model is the 4x2, so Ford says this can tow up to 9,000 pounds properly equipped. And as the Expedition Max sits here, it weighs in around 5,400 pounds. But making our way over here to the fuel door of the Expedition, let's talk about fuel economy here. Ford says this is ready to get 17 in the city, 23 on the highway, and 19 combined. So starting off in the 2022 Ford Expedition Max here, this is the platinum trim here. So this one does offer some really nice, really nice luxurious materials here. Let's put the vehicle into a sport mode here. This has Ford's 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 powertrain. And it is 
the shift it is paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission which was co-developed with gm but ford did their own uh tuning here to the transmission so it is very responsive it's quick to shift and of course it's in the sport mode so it is holding the rev so it is a really good transmission and powertrain uh, combination here fuel economy is right at 17 in the city 23 on the highway and 19 combined ford was rumored to be putting the uh, the powertrain from the f-150 hybrid powertrain into this vehicle but that's probably for the next generation um, this one also has an independent rear suspension some of the other competitors have finally offered an independent rear suspension so what that means is you get more cargo space and more legroom in the third row and this vehicle doesn't feel like i'm driving like a big truck it just it feels just right it's a good size but if you guys think the max is just too much for you you can go for the short wheelbase version which is about like a foot shorter uh compared to uh the max here the visibility out of this truck here is really good i mean sorry not truck suv visibility out of this suv here is really good you also have this dash the low dash here you can see over it i like the infotainment system here is a 15 inch display you also have this 12.3 inch uh, gauge cluster here it is customizable and this one also has the uh, ford's blue cruise so if you guys are on a mapped highway you can you know, set the cruise control and you can use your hands free once you guys uh set it to a mapped highway that ford you know uh pre-drove over already in their system and this can also get over the air updates so if ford wanted to add something to it they can just do it over the air so that's really nice that ford is giving you that nice uh, technology here the ride quality in this vehicle is super good because it does have that independent rear suspension very smooth the fuel economy is, is good as well it's right on par with every other vehicle in this segment the seat comfort is supportive really good seats they're three level heated and cool seats and I just like the way that this interior is laid out. Very simple, very modern, really nice materials, nice stitching and whatnot. You can put your family in here. It does offer a good amount of uh, second and third row legroom space, best in class numbers. And it does offer a lot of uh, cubic feet of space in the cargo area if you guys are looking for max cargo. Uh, with that being said, I think this vehicle is a budget uh, navigator because it's fully loaded. And it offers a lot of nice tech, a lot of nice materials, really good driver's assistance tech as well. After spending time with the 2022 Ford Expedition Max, I like that you get a ton of cargo space once you fold down uh, the seats. You also have really good second and legroom space for the passengers. And I love that large infotainment system. It does support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard. So Ford did a really good job here updating the Expedition for 2022. With that being said, hope you guys have enjoyed this review here on the 2022 Ford Expedition Max. Be sure to check me out on Instagram at Driveway Reviews. Hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications, and I will see you all in the next video.